Hello my friends, welcome to the Commander's Crypt. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects. Uh, anyone knows me knows I absolutely love big creatures, especially dragons. So today we're going to talk about the cycle of ancient dragons from Battle for Baldur's Gate. There's uh, five of them, one for each color. And uh, I like them all, but uh, we're going to discuss which ones we think are the best. Uh, in the cycle, we've got the Ancient Brass Dragon, the Ancient Bronze Dragon, the Ancient Gold Dragon, the Ancient Silver Dragon, and the Ancient Copper Dragon. I love them all. Uh, some are more powerful than others which we will discuss and we'll also talk about prices of these cards so the first one we're going to talk about today is ancient brass dragon two black and five creature elder dragon flying whenever ancient brass dragon deals combat damage to a player roll a d20 when you do put any number of target creature cards with total mana value x or less from graveyards onto the battlefield under your control where X is the result. Okay, so I, I look at, looked up the prices for this one, and this one's the least pricey of all five because it's the weakest. And the reason why it's the weakest is because it's a 7-6 beater, but you know, if you cheat it out early, and everybody knows I love cheating creatures, you know, you get this guy out fourth or fifth turn, there's not going to be any uh, creatures in the graveyard to even re reanimate. Uh, let alone, even if there was, if you have a bad roll with the D20, you're not going to get anything anyway. So, the uh, Ancient Brass Dragon uh, needs creatures in the graveyard to be effective. And uh, even then, you, you might still have a big old whiff if you get this guy out and don't roll well, even if there are creatures in the deck. So, I don't see this uh, guy getting a whole lot of play. Yeah, he's, he's better uh, late game. So, so yeah, so, I, I, you know, late game, he would be actually a, a, an all-star. Um, but the next four other dragons are going to be better. The next one that we're going to talk about is going to be the ancient bronze dragon, the green dragon. Uh, I've seen these uh, for about $17 non-foil, $20 foil, $21 foil. I just uh, picked one up and uh, the Ancient Bronze Dragon is two green and five creature elder dragon flying. Whenever Ancient Bronze Dragon deals combat damage to a player, roll a d20. When you do, put x plus one plus one counters on each of up to two target creatures where x is the result. That's uh, super amazing and that's uh, par for the course for green. Uh, first of all, I was excited to see that green got a big flying creature like this. First of all, second of all, uh, the the counters could just be crazy, Captain Insano, amazing. Once you you know get in with this, y you roll a d20, and then you could spread that around to two other creatures. That's actually very fantastic for green, for Voltron decks, you know, that type of thing. Um, you know, uh, cards that come to mind with that would be Triumph of the Hordes and Crater Hoof, you know, uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth, uh, you know, that would just be uh, crazy and insane f for green. So I, I, I've seen that uh, these also go for about uh, 17 to $19. Uh, second more expensive compared to the ancient brass dragon. The next most powerful 
dragon in this cycle is going to be the ancient gold dragon two white and five flying whenever ancient gold dragon deals combat damage to a player roll a d20 you create a number of one one blue fairy dragon creature tokens with flying equal to the result so yeah this there's a lot of things that you could do with this card uh which would be pretty amazing um i i i did purchase a foil of this for about twenty dollars and it's going right into my kalia deck think about this for a second you're playing kalia you get her out turn four and swing with a lightning greaves or or fifth turn you get her out and swing with a swift foot boots and let's say you've got a dragon tempest out boom when this you're going to swing with kalia and this do nine points of damage and then you're going to create whatever you you roll uh with the d20 let's say you roll a 14 and you have the dragon tempest out which is already in my kalia deck boom you have just killed two people fourth or fifth turn and what i mean is this what happens is if you let's say you to roll a 15 and you get 15 dragon tokens coming into play with your dragon tempest boom that when that first token comes in you shock somebody for two when that second token comes in you bolt somebody for three you're going to keep going with the player that you just hit anyway and did nine damage. Now that's another five, 14 points of damage. When the next token comes in, boom, that's four points of damage. When the next token comes in, five points of damage. You're going to, you're, you're going to kill somebody, uh, whoever you hit with that uh, dragon is going to die and then you're going to have enough damage for another 40 on somebody else so you're going to be able to take out two players very quickly uh, in this deck another couple of good cards that would go very well with this deck uh, again would be triumph of the hordes or a uh, coat of arms so uh, there you go a couple other Good, uh, crater hoof would also uh, work well with this creature and a chroma's memorial and eldrazi monument would also be very good cards to match up with this effect a chroma's memorial you know you put 10 15 of these things out they're all going to have vidge another another good thing too with the kalia deck you know you get this many token guys out even if you don't have a dragon tempest out now you've got however many blockers that you rolled that d20 for so now you can ch chump block forever and attack it well and th that's one of the weaknesses of the kalia deck is you want to be swinging with that deck uh you don't want to be holding anybody back worrying about a crack back so the next best dragon in my opinion is kind of a tie between ancient silver dragon and ancient copper dragon uh, i i give ancient copper dragon the edge because if you get a good roll and you get all those uh treasure tokens you, you can basically cast your whole hand and you're going to have this in a deck that's going to you know ancient copper dragon you're going to have this in a deck that's going to abuse that effect ancient silver dragon very strong on its own two blue six flying whenever ancient silver dragon deals combat damage to a player roll a d20 draw cards equal to the result you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game well that goes without saying everybody knows that uh, card advantage is win advantage you know when you hit with this and now you've got a massive grip uh, you may have a bunch of counter spells or uh whatever uh so fantastic fantastic uh, card ancient silver dragons are going uh, 25 for regular about $30 for foils so then you've got the ancient uh, copper dragon and this one's actually my favorite two red four 
creature, Elder Dragon, flying whenever Ancient Copper Dragon deals combat damage to a player. Roll a d20. You create a number of treasure tokens equal to the result. I think this is fantastic. There's all kinds of ways that you can abuse this card as well. If you've got this in the deck, you're probably also going to have a Hellkite Tyrant. Hellkite Tyrant uh, is a 6-5 dragon, 2 red and 4. It has trample and it says it, when you when it does combat damage to a player, it takes all of their artifacts. So you hit somebody with a bunch of artifacts with the Hellkite Tyrant and you make a bunch of tokens with ancient copper dragon there's a good chance you're going to have over 20 artifacts and when it comes back around to your turn you win the game with the hellkite tyrant or if you don't have those two out you just basically cast everything that's in your hand this ancient copper dragon is actually going into my and well of the painter deck you know, if this guy hits and you get a decent draw, now you're talking about with your mana on the battlefield and all these treasure tokens, you're talking probably 10 to 20 or more mana that you now have to double with Enweldo the Painter. And, and that whole deck is just big bomb sorceries. So now you can double any, any bombs that you're making you know, a, a 10, 20 or more point tor torment of hailfire will uh, really ruin your opponent's day. Not to mention, you know, uh, cut to ribbons or anything else that you, uh, any big sorceries that you may have. So, uh, Ancient Copper Dragon, in my humble opinion, it kind of edges out the Ancient Silver Dragon. Uh, Ancient Silver Dragon is going to go in your blue deck and you're going to load up with counter spells. Yeah. Uh, but um, in my humble opinion, Ancient Copper Dragon has uh, more uh, propensity to be abused than the Silver Dragon does. So that's it. That's all I've got. I hope you uh, enjoyed my quick little video. If you like what we're doing, uh, please let us know. Here at the Commander's Crypt, we have a saying. We don't want to just be a, a uh, Commander channel. We want to be a Commander community. If you like what we're doing, uh, we have a Patreon. Uh, you know, if you want to donate, I'm okay with that. And also, if you're a cosplay player, please send me your uh, admissions and we'll get you uh, uh, shown on the channel here. So that's it. That's all I've got. I hope you like my... Um, quick video i love playing commander i love dragons and i love cheating in said dragon so that's it that's all we're going to talk about today uh we will see you on the next commander's crypt new orleans